Hello everyone, this video is about candidate key in DBMS. Let us consider a real-life example. There is a vacancy for a post in a software development company. There is vacancy for one employee only. There are few job requirements for the post. There will be many candidates who fulfill the job requirements and will be present for the interview. They all fulfill the job requirements, but the best one out of them will be chosen for the post. And he will be assigned the job in the company. Now consider this situation in database, there is a single primary key present in the table. For a key to become a primary key there are some requirements. Now in a database table there will be more than one key fulfilling the requirements. But from them all only one will be selected as primary key. These all keys fulfilling requirements to become a primary key are candidates for primary key. So these keys are called the candidate keys. Without wasting any time, let us study the concept in detail after this short intro. In previous videos we have covered the concepts of keys and learned two types of keys, primary key and super key. In this video we will learn about candidate key. There are references regarding super key and primary key in this video, so for better understanding of the concept, watch those videos, links are present in description. So let us start with the definition. Candidate key is a super key whose no proper subset is a super key. Candidate key can be defined in few more ways, the minimal set of attribute that can uniquely identify a tuple is known as candidate key. Or another one is, a minimal super key is called candidate key. Do not worry if you didn't understand the definition. Let us solve one example regarding the candidate key which will simplify the definition and resolve any doubts regarding the definition. In this example, we have considered a student table. There are four columns present in the table. Registration number, role number, student name and student email. There are few records or tuples present in the table. In definition we saw that candidate key is super key, whose no proper subset is a super key or it is a minimal super key. So before we find candidate keys we need to find super keys present in the table. Following are the super keys present in this student table. To know how to find super keys present in table, watch my video on super key. Now we need to find candidate keys out of these super keys. As per the definition, candidate key is super key whose no proper subset is a super key. So what exactly is a proper subset? A proper subset is a subset that excludes at least one member of the containing set. For example, if 2, 4, 6 is a super key. These all are its proper subset. This super key can become candidate key only if none of its proper subset is a super key. If any one of the proper subset is already a super key, then this super key is not a candidate key. Let us examine all super keys one by one. First is registration number, as there is just one element in this set, a null set will be a proper subset for this. As this null set is not a super key in this student table, registration number is a candidate key. Second we have role number, again single element, so its proper subset is a null set. As null set is not a super key in this student table, roll number is a candidate key. Third one is student email, again there will be a null set as proper subset. So email is a candidate key. Fourth one is registration number and roll number. The proper subsets of this set will be as follows. In these proper subsets, registration number is a super key. Roll number is also a super key. As per the definition no proper subset should be a super key. Therefore, this super key is not a candidate key. Fifth one is role number and student name. The proper subset of this super key are as follows. Out of these proper subsets role number is a super key. So as per the definition this super key is not a candidate key. Sixth one we have registration number, role number and student email. The proper subset of this super key will be as follows. Out of these proper subsets, registration number, role number and student email, all three are super keys of this student table. Therefore, as per definition this super key is not a candidate key. Last one we have, registration number, student name and role number. 
The proper subset of this super key will be as follows. Out of these proper subsets, registration number and roll number, both are super keys of this student table. Therefore, as per definition this super key is not a candidate key. So in this student table, following are the candidate keys. So when we look at the set of candidate keys we can understand that, why candidate keys are called minimal super key. Super keys with unnecessary attributes are ignored. The minimal set of attributes that can uniquely identify a tuple are selected as candidate keys. Out of all these candidate keys one will be selected as primary key. And all remaining candidate keys which do not get selected are said to be alternate keys. That's all for this video, hope you all understood the concept of candidate key. If these videos help you in clearing the concepts, leave a like and share the video with others in need. And for more such videos subscribe my channel Making IT Simple and press the bell icon to get video notifications. See you in the next video. Thank you.